All right, so the US Open draw has just been released and it's looking pretty pretty interesting. On the women's side, there are some crazy first round matches. Uh, but let's see who's not playing because there are actually some big names that are not playing this event. So only a couple of withdrawals from the event so far. We've got Kostea, she pulled out. Uh, Zhu has also pulled out. And Von Drusseva, last year's quarter finalist, has also withdrawn from the event. And on Jabur, she has the latest withdrawal that she's actually put out after the draw has come out. So unfortunately, she won't be playing this event. Former finalist from two years ago, out with injury. Uh, let's get to the top of the draw though, because it is getting, uh, it is very, very interesting. So there it is. We've got uh, 32 seeds in this one. Nobody gets a buy in the first round. There's no free passes. Let's start with Fiontech, number one seed. Gets a qualifier in the first round. Winner of that match will take on either Savile or a qualifier in the second round. Uh, then you've got Cochiretto versus Bandle. Winner of that will take on either Preston, 25 seed, Pavlyuchenkova in the second round. Then you've got Andreeva, the 21 seed versus Osorio. Winner of that will play either Zhong or Kruger in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Buzkova. Winner of that will take on either Wong or the number 16 seed, Samson Nova, in the second round. Pretty good section for Shriantek. She's, you know, she's she should be able to beat Pavlyuchenkova. She's got a qualifier first round, maybe even a qualifier second round. Shriantek's draw is pretty good to get out of this little section. You got maybe Andreeva or, uh, or, or Samson Nova in that possible uh, fourth round. Beaten both of them before, so. Look, Shriantek's draw is nice. Nicer than others when we'll get to that. But uh, you got to watch out for Shriantek. You've got to watch out for Andreeva. Did very, very well in Cincy a couple weeks ago. Uh, also got to watch out for Samson Nova. Has been really good in America over the time, this year and last year included. Uh, so definitely got to watch out for those three. Uh, and I'd also be watching out for Pavlyuchenkova as well as another player. But uh, again, I don't know if Shriantek's going to have much problem there, but definitely got to watch out for those four seeds. Next section, you've got number 11 seed Collins taking on Dolahide. Winner of that will take on either Bookshire or Arani in the second round. Then you've got Schmidlova taking on Towson. Winner of that will take on either Potoroska or Schneider, number 18 seed in the second round. Then you got number 31 seed Bolter taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Maniro or Mardich in the second round. Then you've got Raducanu versus Kennan. Crazy first round match. That's crazy. And the winner of that will take on either Rogers or the number six seed Pagula, which is a tough first round for Pagula. Very, very crazy bottom part of that draw. Uh, but this section, interesting section. Uh, definitely got to watch out for Collins. Got to watch out for Pagula. Arguably the most informed player of this section. Uh, but you got to watch out for Schneider as well. You gotta watch out for Bolter, so the four seeds, but also gotta watch out for Raducanu, and also also watch out for Cannon as well. Both are very capable of winning Grand Slams. We've seen them win them before. Very, very dangerous, especially for Pagula. Very tough draw for Pagula. All right, next section of the draw, we've got Rabakin, a number four seed. We'll take on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Mertens or Zhang in the second round. Not not uh, Queen Zhang, but the uh, another the other Zhang. Then you've got Wozniaki taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either uh, Zara Zuha or number 28 seed Garcia. Then you've got Dajmai, the 22nd seed, taking on Avanesian. Winner of that will take on either Tormo or Noel in the second round. Then you got Bondaire versus Perra. Winner of that will take on either Davis or 15 seed Kellen Skyer in the second round. Very awkward draw for Rabak. I mean, from the second round onwards, it, it's pretty tricky. You know, you've got to watch out for Rabak in this section, though. You've got to watch out for Kellen Skyer. Can beat Rabak, and we've seen that. Also, you got to watch out for Garcia. Very tough third round for Rabak in her as well. And also Dadj Meyer. Also Wozniacki. Worth watching out for her. Never know when it's going to be her last Grand Slam. Next section of the draw, you've got Ostapenko number 10 seed taking on Osaka. What, like, what is that first round? That is an insane first round. And it gets crazy because the winner of that will take on either Mukova or Volley Nets. Mukova made the semis last year. On the comeback, but obviously French Open finalist last year. That section, I mean, that those four players, poor Volley Nets. I mean, she's got to deal with that as well, but she'll probably get out of that section. But um, that is a, a crazy part of the draw. Uh, then you got Fruvitova taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Potapova or Fernandez, number 23 seed in the second round. Then you've got Putin Seva, the 30th seed, taking on Noskova. Winner of that will take on either Wong or Qualifier. Then you've got Sharif taking on Pushkova. Winner of that will take on either Andrescu or Paulini, number five seed in the second round. This whole section is, is ridiculous. I mean, the first rounds, Noskova versus Putin Seva. You've got Fernandez, Potapova first round. You've got, uh, obviously, Ostapenko versus Osaka. First round's crazy. You've got Sharif. Pushkova is a kind of crazy first round. You've got Paulini, Andrescu. I mean, all the first rounds in that section are insane. Are absolutely insane. You've got to watch out for Paulini though, did make back-to-back -back Grand Slam finals, playing great at slams. Uh, also got to watch over Panko as well, made a deep run here last year, Beach Fiontech here. Uh, also, you got to watch over Osaka, won this twice before. Got to watch over Mukova as well on the comeback trail. Got to watch over Fernandez in this section as well. And Putin Seva, both capable of making deep runs. We've seen that before, especially causing upsets as well. So, and you've got to watch over Pliskova and probably Andrescu as well. So, I mean, you pretty much got to watch over everybody in this section. It's a crazy section. Of course, this section will take on the Sviantec section in the semi finals. So, if we go by the big names, we could be getting Sviantec taking on. Rabakina up in a semi-final, but with Rabakina's draw, who the hell knows what's going to happen? Maybe he gets Friontek Ostapenko, which has been a crazy match in the past. Uh, not for Friontek against her, but you never know. Maybe you want to go with Friontek taking on Paulini. 
Capelli is going to continue that Grand Slam form. Maybe you want to go something a little different and go Sviantek versus Kalinskaya. Or maybe Sviantek taking on Osaka. If Osaka can have that amazing run, she's going to have to go through some crazy matches, but you never know. You don't think Sviantek's going to get there? Maybe Rabakina taking on the Sviantek section. So Rabakina will take on maybe Collins. Maybe Rabakina Pagula. If you want to go something a little bit different, Rabakina hasn't been in the greatest form, so you'd be maybe you don't want to go with her. Maybe you want to go with Pellini taking on Collins. But man, it, it's a brutal section, the second section. And then that's all just to go and play Bottom half of the draw, we've got Krajikova, number eight seed, taking on Qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Grabba or a Qualifier in the second round. Trevison taking on Townsend. Winner of that will take on either Golovic or Bedosa, the number 26 seed. Then you've got the number 20 seed, Azarenka, taking on a Qualifier. Winner of that will take on Burrell. Stevens in the second round. Then you've got Parry taking on Wong. Winner of that will take on another Wong. Or the number nine seed, Zachary, in the second round. This is a, an interesting draw because... I mean, Bedosa is by far the most informed player in this section, but Sakharin and Krajikov the high seeds are coming in from injury and haven't played on hard courts. So it's going to be a really interesting section, this, this part. Uh, you've got to watch out for Krajikova, just one Wimbledon, of course. Got to watch out for Zachary as well. Also, got to watch out for Bedosa. Like I said, she is the most informed player. Uh, also, Azarenka, who did pull out of Cincy with injury. So Bedosa is the only healthy seed in this section based on what happened in Cincy. Uh, so those are the four players I'd be watching out for, but also maybe chuck in Sloane Stevens as well, did win this tournament. So you give her some, uh, some credit for that, and, and maybe she can go on a run here because this draw is kind of wide open. Next section of the draw, you got the number 13 seed, Navarro taking on Blinkova. Winner of that would take on either Bogdan or Rus in the second round. Then you've got Piquet taking on Dart. Winner of that would take on either Kessler. Or the number 19 seed, Kostruk in the second round. Then you've got the number 27 seed, Svetolina taking on Carle. Winner of that would take on either Dodden or Kalanina in the second round. Then you've got Maria taking on a qualifier. Winner of that would take on either Gracheva and the number three seed, Goff, in the second round. Not a bad draw for Goff. I, I think Goff's section, her quarter, is probably the best out of the bunch. I think, I think I don't think there's too many crazy players. I mean, maybe Sviantek's section was a little bit easier, but then you do have some, some names there that, that could trouble. But Goff's section, especially the other half that we talked about before, the other part, a lot of players injured in this section. But in this part of the draw specifically, you got to watch out for Goff. you got to watch out for Navarro, being in very good form this year. got to watch out for Svetolina, made a semi-final here back in the day. Also watch out for Kostruk, has been good at times on all all services. Uh, so those are the four that I'd be watching out for, but maybe even Blinkova. Chuck her in there as well, because Blinkova did have a good run at the Australian Open, beating Rabakina there. So on hard courts, Blinkova's dangerous. But I don't know. I, I feel like Goff's draw is, is manageable. If you can get through, especially Svetolina in that third round, you think that she probably makes it to the, maybe even to the semis, right? She should be able to back that up. And the last quarter of the draw we've got, the number seven seed, Jung, taking on Nisimova. Crazy first round. Crazy. Not as crazy as Osaka Ostapenko, but pretty close second. Winner of that would take on either Andreva or or uh, Erica on Draver or Yuan in the second round. Then you got Korpash uh, Uchiyama, sorry. Uh, winner of that would take on either Niemeyer or the number 32 seed Yastremski in the second round. Then you got the 24th seed Vekic taking on a qualifier. Winner of that would take on either Minin or Fre in the second round. Then you got Stearns taking on Sharenko. Winner of that would take on either Christian or the number 12 seed Kazakina in the second round. Very interesting section of the draw. I mean, Zhang's first round really sucks. I mean, only some over great form. Zhang, great form in, uh, in, in the Olympics, but I mean, she did make the quarters here last year, but Anisimova is one of the worst players you could play in the first round. You, but you got to watch over Zhang. You've got to watch over Vekic as well. Been in very good form over the last couple of uh, months. Not on hard courts, but on clay and grass. Uh, also watch over Dasha, you know, as number 12 seed. Uh, not a bad draw for Dasha, so I'm, I'm optimistic. Uh, then also your strength as well. Got to watch out for her. But the big unseated play you got to watch out for is Anissa Mo. Crazy run over in uh, in Canada. Played really, really well there. Very tough first round, but she can get through that. Who knows? She could make it to the quarterfinals or the fourth round of the quarterfinals. Bottom section of the draw, the very bottom section. We've got number 14 seed Keys taking on Sydney Koba. Winner of that would take on either a qualifier or Sigamund in the second round. Then you've got Tomanovic taking on another qualifier. Winner of that would take on either Kudamatova Mertens in that second round. Then you've got number 29 seed Alexandrova taking on Tomova. Winner of that would take on either Lynette or Jovid in the second round, sorry. Then you got Sun taking on Bronzetti. Winner of that would take on either a qualifier or the number two seed Sabalenka in the second round. Not an easy draw for Sabalenka. Definitely hurdles. There's definitely some hurdles, especially when we talk about down the track. But of course, you've got to watch out for Sabalenka in this section. You've got to watch out for Keys. They actually played last year in the semis. Crazy semi-final last year, if you remember that one. Also got to watch out for Mertens and Alexandrova. Both can do damage uh, if they're healthy. So th that's the question, if they are healthy. So very, very interesting to see those those players. I don't know about too many unseated players. And maybe maybe throw in Tom Anovich there because she did beat Serena here a couple of years ago and had a really good run there. So maybe the happy memories will help her, but it's not an easy section for her. But this section of the draw, will take on that Goff section. So you could be getting Sabalenka versus Goff in the semifinals. You could be getting Sabalenka taking on Krajikova in the semifinals. If Krajikova keeps that Wimbledon form, 
Maybe Sabalenka taking on Zachary. Maybe Sabalenka versus Bedosa. If you want to go with uh, the two best friends making it far. If you don't think Sabalenka's going to get there, maybe you think Goff versus Zhang, or maybe Goff versus Keys, or maybe even Goff versus Vekic. You want to go something a little bit different? I mean, there's a lot of players that you could grab out of that section, but, you know, we'll stick to the big names. But let me know down in the comments below if you're watching this later. Who's going to win the US Open based on that? I mean, I, th I still think Sabalenka is probably my pick. Probably. I think Rabakin has got the... I mean, that that draw is, is brutal. Also, let me know down in the comments below what your, who your dark horse is. Who do you think is going to do uh, something crazy? I mean, I would have said Pagula at the start of the week, but after that draw, I don't know if Pagula is going to make it that far because obviously she's going to have to go through Sviantec and, and then who knows, right? But yeah, maybe... Maybe, maybe that's, if, if Shiontek's the only place she has to beat, maybe that is a good draw. But uh, man, brutal draw for some and a little bit easier for some at this year's US Open. It starts on Monday.